Contractors and Oklahomans who are self-employed can now apply for unemployment benefits under the CARES Act. But getting those benefits has not been easy or fast. To Works Views, Erin Conrad talks to the woman who's hoping to finally get her application in today. Lauren Rainwater makes her living helping people relax. I can, you know, put essential oils in them is what's in them. No chemicals, additives, any, you know, mm -hmm. added stuff in there. It's pretty simple. And so it's good for sensitive skin. She's been making all kinds of bath bombs and self-care products for the last three years. Her biggest money makers are market shows like Affair of the Heart. A shop that, you know, if I don't make orders, if I don't sell orders, if I'm not at shows, I don't make money. So those are huge for me. And so um, I do miss those because I missed two of them that were canceled uh, because of COVID-19. And so that's where, you know, this has affected my business. Rainwater, like so many others, has been trying to file for unemployment benefits for weeks. And it's been, for lack of a better term, confusing. It's kind of heartbreaking when you keep seeing these denials. And I'm thinking, what is this really gaining me? Then, I, you know, you hear all these stories of keep doing it. No, don't do it. The system's not ready yet. Um, you know, and then you hear keep doing it again. It's hard when you're kind of in this position where what do you have to lose? But at the same time, what is it gaining you? Before the health crisis hit, contractors, gig workers, and those who are self-employed didn't qualify to get benefits. But because of the broad impact of COVID-19, lawmakers have temporarily changed that. With the new uh, legislation that went through, independent contractors of any kind are eligible. Um, they just need to be able to provide their work, uh, their income statements. So let's say they were a driver for Uber would be a good example. They would need to be able to pull that documentation and share that um, and it could that it could include any kind of tax statements or uh, payments from from any other uh, say they're um, a, a contractor that but they are they need to pull invoices that were paid uh, by the person that hired them. So a lot of times they're having to go back and find this. So please have that information ready as well when you are uh, looking to file. And while this is an unprecedented move, the slow rollout has been frustrating for those left in limbo. People don't understand just because the president passed or signed the CARES Act into law uh, doesn't mean that we can administer those benefits the next day. We have to have the actual guidance from Department of Labor, which we finally have received all of that. So that was slow. We were slow to receive that. Um, and then we have to implement these. So you think about this 30 year old technology that we're working with, um, having to update it to be able to handle a totally new workflow process. So, you know, before we were unable to administer to independent contractors and now we need to. So that's been our highest priority is getting those pushes in place um, into production. Rainwater says she understands it's complicated, but things are tight and her bills are still due. It's emotional. Um, it's, it, we are doing okay, um, but it, at the same time, it, it's, I wish we were doing better so we could stay on top of things. She says she's staying positive, still making her bath bombs and crisis schooling her three kids as she waits for the life raft she and so many others still need. I've just been trying to be patient because I know I'm not the only one mm -hmm. and I just want to do it right. As of today, the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission can finally accept information from independent contractors and those who are self-employed. However, those benefits won't likely get processed until sometime next week. At home, Erin Conrad, Two Works For You.